I like don't know why I don't trust you with that thing around me. Like, I. Girl, you are not fucking anyone's wife. <laughs> no, I am the wife that is fucked. Oh, Period. Okay, yeah, I'm ran know. through. Welcome back to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Not welcome back. Welcome to Emergency Intercom. Welcome back to this episode because you're probably revisiting it because you're obsessed with me. Um, exactly. I'm giving them like an upskirt shot right now. I know. Low key, your freaking junk is going to fall out. Period. Um, so we've come to the conclusion of who's who in the challengers. Yeah, I think Kai has a take on it too. Okay, I want to hear. Um, it. But um, wait, before we go, let's yeah. preface. Okay. So, if you have not seen it, challengers, just listen. I don't know. Just listen. Yeah, do whatever. Um, but there was a lot of conversation around me and Yen Kai and who's who in challengers, um, and I feel like we all have different takes on it. But I'm curious to hear everyone's, and then I'll say mine. Well, I think it was interesting because at first everyone was like, oh, Enya's Tashi, just because like the girl. girl. But then people thought about it and they were like, oh, but Drew's like manipulative. Yeah, I'm kind of evil. I'm a little evil, wicked. But also brings out the best in people through very like horrible Means, tactics yeah. and ways. Yeah, I mean, and he's the most ran through. So people were saying, oh, oh, well, I don't think anybody's like really. No one is that. saying that I'm ran through. Yeah. Oh, well, let me check my notes. Oh, OK. Was, you collected notes. Who said that? You didn't like take detail of who said that? That's my job. Well, That's whoever said that, you're fucking done. I'm going to find you, bitch. Don't yeah, say that about my boyfriend. Her. A lot of people said that. It had, uh, the Whoa, comment had like 10,000 likes. No, I, well, and when he can't get it done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Low key. So, Inya's Pat and your arch or art. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I am art. No, Kai is the tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the churro. Yeah, wait. Because I get ate up. No, I, okay. Here's the thing. Because you're sweet I am and art. spicy. Exactly. Churros are not spicy. But I'm bad for Like, oh, like ketchup. <laughs> but I'm bad but, for No, 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 no. We got to go back. So churros aren't spicy. You're just basically saying ketchup isn't spicy. Literally. Uh, okay. But ketchup's I, I, the spiciest like, I condiment. I feel like in this moment, it's only correct that I um, don't demean y'all's culture. Okay. And I can understand that from your upbringing. Have you ever had a slice of pizza? The red sauce on it is hella spicy. <laughs> it hurts my tongue. The red sauce. It hurts okay. my tongue. Okay, God, you go. Ahead. The final thing that I was going to say is I am art because I seek love and I'm not getting it. And I've ever. And you're you. mad annoying. And I'm annoying as fuck. But my body goes crazy. Yeah, but body body is <laughs> body tea. Body is tea. Yeah, yeah. body is tea. Um, body is haircut, tea. Haircut is tea. Yeah. But haircut and body is tea. Yeah. Um, and I am Patrick because I'm conniving and I want to have fun and I don't give a fuck. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna it, you're never in. no. The real tea is is you were never in the wrong in yeah. the first place. Like we were together. Kai came in, broke us up. I got with it's Kai. It's actually sounding like real life. Yeah. yeah. Real oh, as fuck. Yeah. Well, real as fuck. Yeah, I think it's I getting think, a little too real. Maybe we. I think I'm. No, let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion, I'm all three of them in different ways. Okay, so you're trying to see how you can center yourself in every situation. Drew's the ball getting passed around. Yeah, I, literally. I agree. Well, Patrick also smokes cigs, right? Me as fuck. Yeah, that's you. Um, and you got brown hair. And you're like a yeah. little rodent that wished to <laughs> be a man. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and no, you the, just have brown eyes. The, I actually think he has blue eyes. I saw the greatest review on Letterboxd, and it was like, Art and Patrick are, are, are like if two mice wish to be human. And that <laughs> physically altered like... The way I viewed them. The it way so I real. saw everything. But they're sexy hot, and I don't give a fuck. I want to fuck a little mouse. Hey. Oh, whoa. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're going to... I don't think you should say that. Why? Why would you like that's like bestiality? Oh wait, I've never told this story. I'm like speaking of bestiality. Um, there is a movie by um, the the director's name is like fucking your mama's mouth. vagina. I'm waiting for you to say something to me. 
Um, Yolanda. No, yeah. no, you know, you know what I'm looking for. Don't play with me. You interrupted me. What do you want? What do you think I want to hear? I'm sorry. I love you. Look at me. I'm sorry. I love you're you. Lo- you're not looking at me. You're looking around. Me. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, me. When someone says look at me, that I'm like, I love you. <laughs> Say it to my face. Uh, y'all can't see, but I could do this awesome thing where I move only one eye. Um, <laughs> and Drew swears he can do it, but he can't. I swear I can. You I can. Swear. Every time you do it, you just cross your eye. Wait, hold on. Look. I don't think the camera. Was I have a video. I have a video of it. No, we had a video of you trying to do it and you couldn't do it. I can't roll my eyes either when I try. <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, so it, we were like going, I was like going on a trip and I was like, oh damn, I want something to watch on the plane. So I was looking through my watch list and I was high as fuck and I was looking through it and I just like saw the cover and the cover just has this director's name really big. And I like from the small like little box of it on my iPhone, I read it as fucking animal. So I looked up <laughs> fucking animal movie. Oh. Bitch, the the search, like what it gave you back. I'm not kidding. I never like, I literally was like shaking. I was like, oh, oh, uh, like on my iPad, like trying to like delete it. And I was like, oh my God. And oh iPads on the airplane are the brightest fucking thing ever. And I was so humiliated. They like projected like, it on the ceiling. <laughs> and I was like moving stuff around. Bitch, her name was fucking Amal. Like uh, A-M-A-L. But from the little box, that's what I thought it was. I was like, box, damn, this is a girl, weird. You keep saying that. What? About? <laughs> yeah. Get your mind off the <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Um again. But yeah, that was my embarrassing story of me not clicking on something and looking at the because that's not even the title of the movie. I didn't know the title of the movie, and I was just like, oh, I'll just look up the director. I'm sure like the movie will come up. Bitch, a the lot of like <laughs> actually way too much stuff like that. Literally, I mean it's literally illegal. I can't believe I can actually Google You're that and just list. see it. Like, yeah, so if I end up not showing up for our next few episodes that's you that. set that up perfectly because once you get caught you can use this as evidence and be like look like i was i just... didn't do it yeah well exactly. i didn't contact any links don't fucking play with me bitch okay guys something like absolutely massive groundbreaking earth shattering oh yeah just break the table actually please <laughs> please, <laughs> please um something absolutely earth shattering groundbreaking happened and it's hard for me to talk about because the world doesn't know yet but i met we met our idol oh wow we met i almost forgot we literally did something so big and so huge (laughs) and we met gypsy rose yeah insert insert clip and video here and picture whatever Mm mm-hmm Wow. 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 I can't believe it finally happened. No, no, like literally that is manifestation, like in its purest form, like literally from the genesis of this podcast, I was saying, I want Gypsy Rose as a (laughs) guest. She needs to be on here. I need to meet her in some capacity. And it finally fucking happened. Shout out whatever the the people that organized it. What's her name? Jada? Emily. Emily. (laughs) <laughs> Jada, Emily. J- no, Jada is actually Jada is the girl from the company who likes our podcast. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, she yeah. couldn't make it out. But Emily was there to like introduce us to Gypsy. Yeah, and we had like a moment with her on the side, and it was pretty crazy, and it was very surreal, and it was kind of freaky, <laughs> and so many emotions I felt, but ultimately um it was very magical and she's a sweetheart and yeah, she's she cunty and blonde and she knows her fucking poses my bitch pose <laughs> nasty no, literally we got like live photos and me and drew were moving around and she literally was like light as a feather stiff as a board like we'll <laughs> like, insert the live photo she was not moving from that fucking pose it felt like when rupaul's on stage <laughs> facing the spotlight and like everybody's talking to him and he's like like not looking at anybody not <laughs> like looking away from i'm the talking light. to drew i'm like your competition, 
left us wanting more. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what he does. Mm -hmm. But that's what Gypsy was doing. And it was so good. She was actually so nice. I wish we got more time to talk to her. But also, I didn't want to be one of the, like, million people who were, like, harping and, like, breathing down her neck. We had a moment to, like, off the record, quote unquote, like, have a conversation with her. Um, but we opted out because she was having a Siggy and like she had been going, going, going since she landed in LA and we were like, girl, we want to give her like some fucking space to breathe because she's been like doing panels, interviews, carpets. And then she had to talk to our dumb asses, which is like always overstimulating. Which and we awful. made her laugh. Like oh, she yeah. was laughing her ass off with yeah. us. I know when she was first meeting us, she was like, who the fuck are these people? Like, why did y'all bring them? Because we were literally the only like, Influencer. people from our yeah. like career there like i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing <laughs> um, i don't know if people said everybody no. else opted out because they're like mm. yeah i don't know oh. i don't know um but no, we were... i know brooke and tana apparently yeah they facetimed facetimed her. her and i bet they were just on tour and they couldn't make yeah, it yeah because um yeah, I'm like, there's no world in which we're the only people. Yeah, but it was it was awesome. And she was probably like, who are these people? Like, what did y'all do to me? Y'all are watering down my image. Like, get them away from me. <laughs> but little did she know that we can make a girl laugh. I know, we were making her crack up. And then we filmed our little TikTok with her. And then we parted ways. And I wish we got to speak to her more. I literally just wanted to ask about, like, her vibes i was i wanted to be like what do you do with your free time like i'm actually mm -hmm. so curious but i actually don't think she's had any free time since post did you just hear my stomach oh my god that was your stomach yeah that was my stomach oh i thought that was a motorcycle it's not like a helicopter flying over yeah i'm about to shit myself guys like actually. um but i wish we had more free time with her but yeah i and i wish i smoked a cigarette with her and i told somebody on her team i was like they were like, oh, yeah, she's going to, like, take a smoke break in a second. So when she does, like, you guys are free to, like, go talk to her. And I was like, oh, I want to give her one of my, like, Korean cigarettes. And they were like, make sure it has nothing but cigarette on it because she literally can't have anything else. Like, sh she has to report back to people. Don't fucking give her some shit. And in my head, I was like, damn. damn. Then I was like, oh, wait. Oh, right, she's literally right. on parole. Child. <laughs> right, it was right. it was very surreal. Um, And... I had a bunch of questions lined up, but ultimately decided to not ask them um, because I did not want to put her in a weird position. Um, and oh, what was it? What was it? There was, was it the rose toy? There was the rose toy. And then, um, oh, I so long ass time ago on Twitter, um, I posted a side by side photo of me and Gypsy and I did my smile and we looked the exact fucking same. <laughs> like when my face was still twinkified, like I could like get into character and get into Gypsy. And I was going to show her that, but I was like, actually, no, <laughs> like this is Maybe from not a really a <laughs> dark, dark, dark time in her life. Like I'm not going to put her through that. This is her big day. And yeah, that was. Anyway, she became obsessed with us, asked for a number, and she like won't stop texting. I know. She's like, I'm all like, I'm not going to chill she with you. She was begging to be on the podcast. Yeah. She was like, please put me on, please. Like, I like can like catch up with your vibe. Like, it'll be a vibe. I actually don't foresee like meeting her. I was like, oh, you are so normal. Like, I already knew that. I already knew she was going to be like a very normal, like 32 year old, like just like your average, like CEO and boss ass, like mm. fucking 32 year old. Like, she was in that damn ass blazer. She was getting her fucking pick. <laughs> the damn um, ass blazer like real. She, one thing about a 30 something year old woman is she's gonna have that fucking blazer on <laughs> like she's gotta put that fucking blazer on because um, she's a working girl yeah she's like she gotta show them she means business mm -hmm. um but she was like so normal that i can't actually imagine her on the podcast like it would I, be really bad for her it would it would literally be like would you ever wear thrifted clothes it's like hell no hell no right 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 or it would be like when we get in situations with like introverted people. And never, ever, ever put us into a situation. Like rule number one, don't put us <laughs> into a situation. <laughs> like that's it. Anytime we're like around an introverted person, I just find myself like literally bombarding them with my like extroverted tendencies because I can't tell if they're uncomfortable around mm -hmm. me. And I, I think I just make them more uncomfortable, but they always call me back. Yeah. They're like, that's hang. I saw this like, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, we are literally sending the clowns by... um no by it, coco no wait, wait, wait grace it, jones it is crazy when we get invited to parties in la we do not fit in at all it's like 
the craziest oh, cast yeah. ever and then they bring us in and we're literally the clowns they bring us in because we're like we're comedic me. relief yeah. like for real for real They're it's like, actually insane we get on the dance floor and dance and then everybody follows are we not wrong kai you're right that's actually one of the first things you said to me when i first met you really yeah you're like i feel like when i'm at these parties i just feel like it's sending the clowns vibes mm. i've never forgot that that because that was like the peak era of that too that's yeah. when we were really going to parties and we started to realize we were like because every time after those parties, people would be like, you were so funny and fun or whatever. And then after a while, we were like, Is that all we I wasn't do? making that many jokes. What the <laughs> yeah, fuck was so I was funny? existing in my <laughs> Bitch, I was just outfit. chilling. What's so funny? <laughs> the fuck? They're like, you were so funny last night. And I was just like drunk and dancing and being silly. And I'm like, I did not crack a single joke to you. Though. I didn't speak to you all night. So how the fuck do you know? <laughs> how do you funny? know? Um, um, but yeah, right. I saw this like a uh, TikTok psychiatrist um, mm. talking about like uh, people with ADHD. And I went and looked it up afterwards because I was like, I can't ever trust a bitch on TikTok anymore. Like Me when you know, I trust every bitch on TikTok. I'm literally, like, oh the God. amount of misinformation, today. the amount of misinformation is alarming and I fall for it every time. And I'm so happy that like only a select few of y'all say shit. Because like if everybody called me out for the, amount of times i spread misinformation on here oh it would be over for me so keep it that way how about that um but the tiktok psychiatrist was talking about people with adhd and how like we communicate and converse um and oh my god she read us to fucking i don't, I don't like that bitch. filth like it was it was horrifying i was like oh I my god video. i just got um, it from drew so there's probably misinformation even in that reason yeah literally so she was basically talking about like when like you're talking to someone with adhd or when she's talking to someone who has undiagnosed adhd or she knows like the the one way she can know for certain that something is going on in their fucking brain is that if you're telling a story to them and they reciprocate with a related experience or like they reciprocate with like, oh, well, this happened to me and blah, 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 blah. And then they start going on a tangent about it. And like it scared the fuck out of me because that's literally how we talk to each other and how we talk to everyone in our life. And I was like reading the comments and all of the comments were like, yeah, like um, it makes me feel slighted. It makes me feel weird when people do that. And I was like, huh? Like, oh my God, like, I, do I put people in uncomfortable positions because I'm like dominating the conversation? And I was like, bitch, I literally don't give a fuck because you're boring anyways. <laughs> like your story was fucking boring and I'm relating to your experience and I'm trying to make you feel comfortable and better. Like suck my nuts from the back. Okay, that's the thing. I immediately went into like a uh, defense mode where I was like, no, but like, I like, no, okay. So like th the reason I do it is, um, and I, as I was doing that, I realized, oh yeah, I am somebody who does that yeah. and it can be annoying. But I would like to think that one, the we people we it do it to, bitch, you got ADHD too, because we're just telling stories back and forth. Like when I think of any conversation I have with my friends, it's like, this happened, this happened, no, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And I always just saw it as a form of like, we're catching up. Yeah, like we're catching vibe, up. Like I'm getting like, we're getting our intel back together. We're getting things in line. And then from there, it could be stupid shit. Like, look at my iPhone. Like, look what's on my iPhone. Mm -hmm. Also, like, why do you need the floor, you fucking narcissist? Like, <laughs> let us share this moment together. Like, you need to, like, be on your fucking soapbox, like, talking your shit. Like, no, it, it actually kind of scared me because it's made me question my idea of communication because I always felt that that was a proper way of communicating and building community is relating and i don't think like i don't think we're wrong i think we can do whatever the fuck we want to do because we're all gonna die soon there are big earthquakes coming y'all and it's <laughs> yellowstone is gonna pop the fuck off and cover the cloud in a mile of ash or cover the sky in a mile of ash and all can I, veg is gonna die can i just say something i feel like something big is not gonna come for the first time in a while i feel very safe i feel very optimistic about my future and i feel like nothing bad oh that's no, well, nothing bad is probably gonna happen to you you know what? I'm going to push back on that and say that nothing bad's going to happen to me. Okay, I'm going to push back on you and you don't talk to me like Hold that. Hold on, you're going to push you're back on him? You're going to push back on him. Push what back on him? Because no, this ass. is between me and you and between me and you, not between y'all. Oh, like, that makes sense. This is too much. Why are you making it about you? Uh, yeah, wait, I'm Zendaya, <laughs> babe. I'm Zendaya. Like, what are we talking about? And I look like her and I give outfits that look like hers. Like, we are like fashion Bitch, girls. insert a picture of the way Drew's jeans fall on his fucking feet. <laughs> 
I can't with these jeans anymore. Bro, he looks slew foot as fuck. Like, he literally, like, it, like it, it, Drew's feet recently have looked like the sound that, like, SpongeBob's, like, like that Squidward's feet make, like. Wait, we need to edit that. You can't see your. You trying to elude that there's more space in this kitchen than, like, three by four feet. <laughs> Um, we want to take a break for today's sponsor, Shopify. Um, shockingly enough, we finally have a merch drop upcoming and that wouldn't be possible without Shopify. Um, I know when people look at us, they think we're geniuses and it's like, oh my God, they must have a degree in science in computer science. And like, they're so smart. And I bet when they get on a computer, they know how to code but you may be surprised to know that I actually have no idea how to do absolutely anything when it comes to website building and Shopify has just made the whole process extremely easy. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, call back to the episode, little camping hey. moment. Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. Ooh. Ooh. We love Shopify because it makes our life so much easier. It uh, helps us get our ideas out there and literally funds our life challenge. Um, so sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash intercom, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash intercom now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash intercom. Cha-ching! This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. Hey! All right, y'all, I say it every time. ZocDoc has saved my life on multiple occasions. I have been dying and dead and freaking out about an ailment or an illness that I have. And ZocDoc has been there to save my life. Instead of going down some weird spiral where you're looking up, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Just open ZocDoc and go to a doctor like you are actually tweaking right now. Just go to an actual professional, please. You can search by location, availability, and insurance. So literally no compromises here because with ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. I never thought I'd see the day where I would regularly be going to doctors, but ZocDoc has made it very simple because I'm not scared because I can see that real people left real reviews and I know that I'm in good hands. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc.com slash intercom. But no, I'm giving Zendaya outfits constantly. No, those fucking <laughs> jeans, y'all, I'm telling you. One of the like greatest fashion icons of our generation right yeah. now. You're like, that's kind of my butt. Wait, oh, did you see that she did the hat thing? And now that you guys have the hat? Exactly. That's crazy. Exactly. That's insane that she... She copied us. Yeah. She took that from us. No, you guys are remembering that we did. We got the hat because of her. I don't know. I don't know. Damn, that's how you know you're a fashion icon when literally even you're like what busted people fits. perceive as like your busted fit bitches are like, I'm going to get that up. <laughs> no, see, like, my whole arc like I'm about to go down is Zendaya twin era. Um, the pictures of her like in her twin, like what happened to Zendaya's twin? Like, that's <laughs> yeah. the real conversation that we need to be having. Like, where did she where did she go? Um Oh my God, that literally, oh my God, that freaked me out. That moment, and yeah, I'm like actually having a conniption fit. I feel like we're in a movie right now. What's I happening? feel like we're literally like in, like everybody's looking at me, stop. Y'all need to fucking stop looking what? at me. What movie are we in? Um, nothing. I'm literally gonna have an actual I'm psychotic break. I'm gonna have a psychotic okay, break. Okay, do you want me to just keep talking? Yeah, I'll yeah, talk yeah, you through yeah, this. Yeah. Wait, what were we saying Brown, before we Brown. told you that your life is gonna be awful? Um. Oh, we were talking about communication. Stop. Right, okay. <laughs> How do you communicate, Kai? 
No, I genuinely have been having this thought where I've been talking to people. And right, right, right. Okay, yeah. I've been having the same fucking thought, <laughs> period. Like, me too, me too. No, <laughs> no I, I had that thought so long ago, though. Like, no, I was thinking that for a I long. seriously, in I the last, like, six months, I've been like, I need to respond to this person not with my own story and mm -hmm. tangent. And I need to, like, ask them questions and, like, get outside of my own fucking head because I do the same shit. Yeah. And I was like, you guys are talking about that. I'm like, Right. I don't think I have ADHD, but I, but I don't know. I think like it can be confused because I do think there are appropriate times to do it. But for the most part, I feel like when I think about moments, especially if somebody is having going through something emotionally based or yeah. like traumatic or whatever, I will bring up scenarios not and I won't go into extreme detail, but I will throw in and be like, try to like help them like grieve this like situation or go through it emotionally, and then randomly throw in and be like, um. I, I throw it in as a like, well, don't feel bad about it or don't be hard on yourself about that because I've also had that and like it will pass, blah, 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 blah. And I don't go like, oh, yeah, well, blah, 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 and me and me and me. I feel like I just throw it in as a touching base so people don't feel like embarrassed or yeah, alone. like, yeah, I, alone. I think there's or, like healthy ways to do it because I'll notice I'll do it sometimes and it feels good. I'm like, oh, it's like a pure use of it. And then other times that I'm like not in a good mental state i'll do it for like more narcissistic reasons and i'll just be like very self-centered but like i do feel like you can do it both ways where you're relating to the person with a direct experience a corollary experience and it's like it's helpful like if somebody says oh like i like i smashed into someone's car whatever whatever what am i supposed to say damn you smashed into their car yeah that damn sucks. that's crazy or i'm sorry <laughs> yeah i hope damn, you have insurance that's yeah. crazy like hitting no them, i'm gonna be like well them. when i was 15 i got into a hit and run Hitting not them, a person that part no hitting them with the the thirty eighth <laughs> damn that's crazy <laughs> and they're yeah. still not catching the hint I'm like damn no that is literally crazy you're fucking no, damn, crazy you are crazy the thirty eighth mm. damn that's crazy damn home damn damn but yeah I will continue to do that I guess but I don't know I feel like I have people in my life who Kai, if they didn't fuck with that they would oh tell me. my god oh my god Kai hasn't been eating sugar and he just sniffed a marshmallow he's been sniffing marshmallows and yeah, sugar. And I was Drew him, doesn't I'm, want me to be happy. He's trying to knock me out of ketosis yeah, by no. trying to get me to eat sweets. I'm, I offer him a sweet every single time I see him because I'm like, everybody needs a little more sweet and sugar in their life. But then I was like, oh, wait, I am that too, Kai. Kai doesn't need to supplement sugar because I am his sugar bae. Like, I'm everything he needs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you. I was saying while Kai is asleep at night, he thinks he's in ketosis, but I've been my macro dosing him with sugar in his sleep. By just sprinkling a little on his lips. Some nerds <laughs> clusters. Yeah. Dude, you the eating a nerds cluster right nerd now would implode you. Like... Ew, like a bird. Yeah, I, I would. A bird. I would explode if I ate one of those right now. When's the last time you had sugar? I had sugar two and a half last weeks night. ago, <laughs> and I'm losing my mind. I just. I just like... don't like. There's no world in which I would keep myself from sugar. <laughs> Y'all have too much of a key. There's something actually happening and I'm scared. No, challengers changed us. We were saying that like something really shifted in our brains. Well, I think that's wrong. But I'm straight. And I'm sad my friends won't be meeting me in heaven. We're going to heaven. <laughs> that's what you think. I've never been to heaven. <laughs> what if I turned into that kind of person who's like, you. I just am sad I'm not going to see you guys. Girl, no, you literally <laughs> are that person. You put on a facade for the podcast. Let's talk about it. Behind no, I was telling Kai we need to bring back homophobia for real, like in a big way. I wasn't Casual. saying that. Kai was saying all that. Kai kept, no, Kai was saying that. He did come inside no, and he was like, oh my God, like I was just so homophobic out there. You don't oh, want to know what happened. It felt so good. It felt so good. He was like, it feels good to just be me, yeah. to be free. You know that You know that audio on TikTok that's like, oh, I'm, I'm finally me again. I haven't yeah, felt like yeah. this in ages. That was Kai when he came and in. And Kai after, you know, inferred the as yeah. being casually homophobic period oh yeah mm -mm. no i walked in the apartment made everyone feel safe as fuck and i was like oh how's everyone doing is everyone that is comfortable? true yeah Does anyone i, want I water? Really do agree with you though like i i actually think you are in a very secure place in your life in a very safe place and nothing bad is going to happen to you right okay can we please just yeah, circle back just, like, to that just touch on that briefly do you not look at me and you're like that person is going to be okay forever i'm like that person is so yeah, mm -hmm. happy, exactly. physically, mentally, and spiritually. No secure. sugar, so happy. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so happy. <gasps> oh my god! No, you do. Oh you have god. been in a really good. Right? Yeah, everything's gonna oh be fine. Are you cooking? Oh. Fuck. That burnt. 
Burnt the shit out of oh, oh. <laughs> it was slowly lighting the house on fire. Oh no! Oh, the allergy. Yeah, my yeah. allergy, my baby. There is a candle <laughs> for the audio baby. listeners. There's a candle underneath Drew's like expensive, baby. glowing algae cooking my it baby. slowly. No, they're definitely boiled. Bitch, you just made shrimp. <laughs> you just boiled some shrimp. No. They're cooked. You're telling me a shrimp fried? Th- you're telling me a candle fried these shrimp? Candle fried rice. Hey, candle fried shrimp. Okay, I told you. I told you. I thought I told you. I already I told, told you. you. Like a Boston soldier that I told you. Already told you. I hate that when I see that shirt, that's what I think of. And that's like some random rhyme Josiah made up because his user on Fortnite is Pom Pom Soldier. And I was like, what the fuck is Pom Pom Soldier? He's like, like cheerleader for the Boston soldiers. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, like a Pom Pom Soldier that I told you. Already told you. Like a Boston soldier. And I was like, literally, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? And that rhyme has never left my head. And every time I read this shirt, I think of like that I told you. Already told you. And that's what I think of when I see the shirt now, which is sad because I- also I was wearing that shirt out in public. Not enough people gave me compliments. Not enough people were looking at me and being like, oh my God, I love that movie. You're so amazing. How many people... Gave you compliments, so maybe focus on the positive. One. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not fair. close. That's I thought it was going to be like seven. No. It should have been. 30. I wanted at least three. I wanted to be stopped in the stream and be like, oh my God, not only are you sexy enough to be in that movie, but I love that movie and you're making me as horny as that movie made me. Yeah. And it- why did Lueve say this in the gift card they gave me? It said, why are you so horny mm-hmm. when I opened my box? What? They literally did. I'll show you. They literally When I opened did. my order, look at what it said. What? Why did they say that? What the hell? Yeah, they're over. Loewe, it's over. I made that happen. It said, do you want to leave a gift card? And then I wanted to post it on IG so people thought that Loewe said that to me. Well, I've decided that camping is like the weirdest thing we decided to do as humans. Like it makes a lot of sense. Grimes eating spaghetti and being homeless for three (laughs) months. It's like the same fucking vibe. No, literally. It's like, why did we uh, like evolutionize into having like running hot water on command, like food in a fridge that can be safe and kept well so that you don't die from like bacterial disease. And then we got all that and we were like. Damn, but I low key miss sleeping outside. Like, I want to do that instead. Also, I've been seeing videos. Wait, do of- people inject botul, like botulism in their skin? Like, bo- wait, I know Botox and shit, but like, hold on. Wait, what? Like, can you get botulism from injections? Botulism injections. <laughs> it, <sucks> it. <laughs> it clogged it. Botulism oh, injections. Oh my God. Botox is botulism. Wait, what is botulism, bitch? The shit that's like inside of the fucking canned foods and like the shit. Yeah, that, like, I know the term, but I'm like, what does guts. botulism do? Botulism kills like millions of people a year. And like during like wartime and shit, they were like getting botulism and literally shitting out their intestines. Like, oh, it just, yeah, it's like localized though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but they, what? Like, like weaponized like, it. Like, mm-hmm. what, what does Botox have to do with that? Because it's like the thing that paralyzes parts of you. But on command versus like chronically. Yeah, it is. That's what? fucking crazy. Why do you even think of that? I don't even know. I've like I connected like dots in my head. I was like botulism, um, and I probably already knew that somehow, and then it just like all came together at once. But I never really actually thought about it because I always thought it was like snake venom or some shit. But like, <laughs> no, or spider toxin. Have you ever thought of getting Botox? Mm, yeah but like you should um but what was i saying oh camping i've been watching weird ass videos of girls <laughs> whoa whoa no 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 no. what do i need done i'm just saying you need some baby <laughs> botox where um forehead cheeks smile lines um maybe we could get you some filler in your cheekbones don't you look at my fucking masseters <laughs> and not say that 
my biggest insecurity is my fucking jaw. No, because I was and gonna say you should get jaw filler, and then I was like, no, if you got jaw filler, it'd be really scary. <laughs> it'd even be more gorded out, y'all. No, I want Do masseter. Okay. okay. What? 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 I was gonna say you talk about your face all the time, but you have a really good face shape. It's literally just like you. you have, do okay. you have such a strong jaw? And he, that's jaw. what he wants, and that's why you can't say anything. Oh yeah. Because that's what he wants. He wants you to be like, no, you're gorgeous, so wow. he can literally knock his head forward and be like, oh my. That's God. some 4D chess Tashi shit. Uh, yeah, you have a great jaw, dude. Thank you. No, I actually genuinely am like genuinely insecure no, by this. And I want masseter Botox, but I know I'd be the bitch that got a fucking injection and my jaw just goes lopsided. Anyways, uh, I've been seeing these girls who go camping and I need to fucking find the video. Y'all are going too far because it went from going to wanting to sleep outside, which I get. Like, I also want to shit in a hole outside. Like, it sounds fucking fun. But these bitches are going into a capacity that I don't understand. Oh, well, I'm crazy because I want to shit in a hole. No, no, guys. I don't know what Kai is laughing. I, I just was literally existing and Kai started laughing. Is that a Range Rover? I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, is this fake? Did they have like a fake Range She's jacking someone else's swag, by the way. I don't give a fuck. She's a girl. She could do that. Girls get to steal. This is literally is not when I got my car. This is what I wanted to do. I'm not kidding. Like it's, I want. She goes too far. Basically, like all that for one night. Like it's crazy. A projector. You're doing far too much. <laughs> like far too fucking much, bitch. If I went camping and I saw like this bitch rain. set up, I would literally go like stab holes into the tent. It's giving fake rain and it's giving I know, it's those a like, like, um, what's it called? Those like, uh, TikTok channels that like clean the house because their boyfriend got home and it's like them unboxing packages and putting things everywhere. It's giving like one of those ads. Or it's like that, uh, channel that was acting like it was just two guys with their hands making full fucking houses in the woods and then it oh, turns out yeah. that like some guy was, was just funding production. yeah there was like a what? huge construction like you didn't know about that no i didn't know about that God, dude yes it was outed that they had like like cranes and like 20 people working on these projects at once like the whole oh. thing was fake from the beginning and then like there was probably one real one but even that one turned out to be really fucking icky because the dude was just like forcing these like indigenous people to like do manual labor and they were making millions and millions of dollars. And like paying them dust. And literally not paying them at all and just keeping all of the money to themselves. And they probably didn't even know what fucking AdSense or AdRev was yeah. at all. Like they just like what took everything. Fuck? Yeah, primitive technology. All of it was. I fun. would only watch those like once every six months. And watch every single one of them in one Yeah, day. Yeah, I would become like randomly obsessed with them and watch them to fall asleep. Like that kind I of did thing. notice though that the they kind structure of, is starting to get a little crazy. They, they flew to too like close David, to the sun. Like David Dobrik's house. You know those like YouTuber houses that are like very minimal with like an infinity yeah. pool? Minecraft house. It was getting dangerously close yeah. to like a neon sign. Yeah, yeah. I they mean, fully crossed the like the suspension of belief when they had like two story buildings. Yeah. They were building. I was like, okay. <laughs> and I no, know you, the rock and sticks they are had, not yeah. holding all that they play. They had up. literal moats with like sharks and alligators in it. Like they were going like way too hard. Me and Josh were talking about this yesterday, like how like looking back at all the prank videos we used to watch, like they're so obviously fake now, but they felt so real to yeah. us in the moment. Like they were all just acting. And we were like, what is like something like like that is another example of that like those felt very real and like they did a good job but looking back we'd probably be like yeah no fucking shit no These shit are they didn't build that in one day yeah and I, we were trying to think of things that in the moment right now are probably fake it's like what's this nuts didn't build rome in a day rome wasn't built to today to wow. today to today um <laughs> you know what i just realized actually so is kai and Thank inya you. kai and inya are the fake bitches that everybody's gonna look back on and be like oh they were so fucking fake but in the moment we thought we were they were real Mm -mm. Like I'm not real or like I'm a bitch. You're fake as fuck. Oh, I'm not fake. Kai, you're fake as fuck. And you know what? I am fucking fake, but I really don't give a fuck. Thank you. That's I really funny. don't give a shit. Actually, don't you feel like that's the new trend forecast? Like yeah, that's yeah. the vibe. Being a horrible person. I'm so, I'm so sad that you're like not ahead of the curve. Like you usually are. So it's sad to see. Like, I'll always fall. be good. I'll always be good, and I'll be waiting, <laughs> arms open, for when people come back running to. They're the not gonna side. come back. They don't like you anymore. No one likes you anymore. And that's okay. I'm comfortable in myself. 
and I love myself. You know when you go to head and you hear the voices? That's That's all the people that don't like you. (laughs) They're talking to me. They're They're transmitting radio frequencies. Right. Okay, well. uh, Really quick, I just want to shout out. I went to the uh, Pink Panther show. I got scared you were about to do like your own ad read or something. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I thought you were going to be like, okay, quick. I just wanted to shout Let me out just <laughs> Scrub do Daddy. A, do an ad read for, the, <laughs> for Audible. No, I was at the Pink Panther show and... No, you weren't. A girl came up to me who was, who was a fan of the, of the podcast. Yes, I was, Drew. You can't make me angry right now because I'm above you and I, I'm no longer to, like, playing with your little games. I didn't get angry. That didn't even affect me. She came up and she was the first clip channel for emergency intercom. Oh, which one was it? Uh, emergency intercombed or emergency intercombed. Oh, I think is the name. oh yeah, yeah. That's fire. Uh, that's I don't know fire. why I pronounced it. Shout kind of out cool. them. That's fucking lit. But We've yeah, been, she- I've been seeing them like be like looking for us in LA. And every time we do something, they're out of town or some shit. And yeah. I'm like, one day we'll link. And yeah. We're like ships passing in the night. One day we'll do like a Lincoln build session with all of the goaded fans. We'll accounts. do like when JoJo Siwa had like a bunch of fans like come listen to her album, except it's y'all coming and listening to the podcast and being very unfulfilled by the experience. Mm-hmm. Like just coming to like not even a live episode, but like we're just going to play the episode and watch you watch it. And you're going to feel really uncomfortable and feel like you need to laugh and fake laugh. And the second we catch you fake laughing, something bad is going to happen. It's going to be over for you. We um, have a new account that I've been fucking loving, loving down. It's emergency intercom meals. And people (laughs) submit photos of the food that they eat while watching emergency intercom. And some of y'all really need a lot of help, like a lot of help, because it's fucking crazy what y'all are eating. And that's coming from me. I know you have to say the interaction you had. Yeah. So someone posted, um, submitted their photo and they posted it. And it was like four cheese taquitos, two Go-Gurts and some random fucking beverage. Um, And I like commented because I was like, I said, this one's crazy. And the account responded back saying like, Hold on, let me read it verbatim. Um, was no one going to tell me that I have the most square head on the planet? I don't think like I just saw myself head. in that. Like I keep looking over at myself, and I can't believe I look like that. And y'all, let me just like sit here and look like that. Like that's actually fucked up. You don't have a square head. Someone okay, I said you have a normal head. No, I have gray head, sis. I said yeah. this one is wild. <laughs> And then someone said, girl, don't act like you don't eat Takis dipped in fucking Chipotle bowl. (laughs) Dipped in Chipotle bowl. Then someone said, girl, that looks like your meal. And then someone said, the emergency intercom meals account said, I know you're not talking with your chemical wasteland of a stomach. (laughs) Your stomach acid should should be considered a war crime. And then I responded back, ate me up, to be honest. (laughs) Right, Um, right. Oh, it's a ginger ale that they're drinking which it, drinking a ginger ale off of an airplane is crazy work i'm sorry like i don't <laughs> give a fuck if you're drinking an air or a fucking yeah whatever um well we got given doctor uh diet dr pepper by um wendy's last night and diet dr pepper i don't even know who the fuck drinks that diet dr pepper actually tastes like if i would if i had water in my mouth and i had a litter box that i hadn't changed out for two weeks and i lifted it up and (gasps) took a smell of ammonia ammonia, right before i swallowed my water that's what that tasted like the the fact that i had a burger and some chicken nuggets in my mouth and i was like oh i can't wait to wash down this fucking nasty ass wendy's fucking meal with a dr pepper the doc i was like the dr pepper will save this mouth full of fucking stinky wendy's food Bitch, I almost fucking threw up because of that Dr. Pepper. It was, that was horrific, so y'all. It was horrific. I, I've been on a Dr. Pepper kick. I've kind of been indoctrinating Inya into the vibe yeah. a little bit. And I was like, ooh, I want a fucking Dr. Pepper. This is going to kill. And I j- was drinking Orion's drink. And I was like, damn, they didn't give me a Dr. Pepper. Whatever, I'll just drink this. And then I gra- oh, Orion grabbed a drink. And I was like, oh, fuck, I've been drinking Orion's drink. So then I was like, oh, let me grab this. Took a sip. Y'all, 
that shit literally like it was like drinking battery acid i'm not kidding it was like the worst flavor it was, like, it was rotten it's rotten yeah no the syrup it, is it rotten. was giving rotten soda i literally could not tell if this was a real drink that people drink or if like the soda machines had like black mold that they just like didn't clean out properly and it shit out in my drink and i was just drinking mold like it was so insane and i'm sorry if you like diet dr pepper stop listening to our fucking podcast now i want nothing now to do with you you scare me you're dangerous you're evil you're wicked i wonder if it tastes like that out of the can or if maybe it was a little rotten i don't i really don't i don't even know if fucking wendy's has diet dr pepper like that's the tea like i don't know where the fuck yeah it came i from. just took a sip of it and i assumed it was diet dr pepper because it tasted like if dr pepper had like a tummy tuck like there's no other way to what? describe it like it's it tasted like if dr pepper had a gastric sleeve like surgery okay that's what it tasted that like. makes sense but yeah it was i thought you were nasty. looking up to see if they had it to make sure we weren't drinking rotten fucking no sludge. they did not have it or at least not immediately they have coke zero medium diet coke fanta small coke drink <laughs> 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 wait no now i need to know no no they do they do wait wait guys we might have had rotten fucking soda i didn't even know soda could be rotten though like soda could be expired something shouldn't expire Maybe like in the my head pickles syrup? don't expire or something with the syrup that they put in I okay they know. do have diet dr pepper okay thank god i was like actually starting to panic because <laughs> i was like what the fuck <laughs> what did we were drink we last drinking night? literally what were we drinking um all right, well, shit. This episode of Emergency Intercom is sponsored by Factor. Guys, warmer, sunnier days are calling. Yes, the birds, the birds are out. The birds and the sun is out, y'all. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be wasting this beautiful weather trapped inside of a grocery store three times a week because I don't know what I want to eat and I don't know how to cook and I don't know how to shop to cook. And that's where Factor comes in. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes, which literally solves my biggest life problem, which is what am I gonna eat? How am I gonna eat it? When am I gonna eat it? I'm actually starving, it's too late. I waited too long to eat. I actually am famished and I'm gonna be skin and bones in the next five minutes. But with something like Factor, it's just super simple. I already know that I'm gonna meet all my nutrient necessities and it takes no time. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll always have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals this May with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Head to factormeals.com slash intercom50 and use code intercom50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code intercom50 at factormeals.com slash intercom50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. No, I got a couple more things. We're not, you're not, you're not done with me yet. We did karaoke last night. Um, and I fucking ate. Y'all walking into that room, it, it was like a blend of like a couple groups. So like not everybody knew each other and we had to all get comfortable with each other being fucking fools. Um, and I could tell the energy was off. So I took the stage. I took the stage first. I did what I had to do. And I just like tried to ease everybody into it. Um, but then I started thinking and I was like, oh my God, karaoke is low key a humiliation ritual. Like it was giving humiliation yeah, ritual vibes. Like we were literally like indoctrinating people into our squad. I need to stop fucking saying that damn word because I don't need it in my vocabulary. But um, yeah, squad's a bad word. I yeah, yeah, I know. I hate it so much. But Okay, I'll just read the list of songs that I did last night. So I started with My Way by Frank Sinatra. Classic. And he actually did sound good. I'll give you that. Yeah, I got a nine or no, I got an eighty four on that one. <laughs> they they did not fuck with my my way. Your rendition. Um But you then, did it your way, so But I did it kind my of way. Um and then I did No Surprises by Radiohead. That was horrible. Um then oh we did stay the night by zed yeah we did me and Anya did a joint stay the night by zed then i did a joint with jester and did up by cardi b and y'all were literally this video like we have to insert the video wait i have to look it up to show kai um 
And then I did Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, which was a banger. Um, and then I finished off with Idiotech. And that was the worst karaoke song of all time. This is literally that. Oh, I love this video. This is a classic. Well, um, I decided that... What songs did you do? What? I don't remember. Oh, I did It's Too Late by Carol King, uh, which is not a really good karaoke song but i was like i'm feeling my hair so i feel like carol king so i want to do carol king hey um also that karaoke bar had multiple pages ripped out of the book so there was like just multiple songs that were missing also the song selection is from like 2016 to like 2018 and they haven't updated since obviously they have like classics and old songs but like the cutoff is like maybe actually 2016 there's like yeah. no songs beyond that um but my intention with the song choices I made was to absolutely destroy the vibe and Josh was recording and like I wanted like it to be me like singing very seriously like a shitty boring song and then everybody just like being on their fucking phone and being bored and it worked. That's the funny thing about karaoke is it feels like the one place and I think that's why it's such a good group activity where it feels so dismissive and fucked up to be on your phone. Like it feels really rude to get on my phone when somebody's singing because I'm like, oh my God, they were giving me their undivided attention. Mm -hmm. I cannot be on my phone. I need to like tap in. I need to sing, cheer them cheer, on. Yeah. Like dance with them. Like I need to give them all. Because that like especially when you go to karaoke with like more introverted people, I feel like I become so hyper aware of their every move exactly. and I'm over analyzing them almost to a point of like insecurity. And I'm like, I hope I'm not making anyone insecure, but I will literally just stare at somebody while they're performing, which in my head, then I'm like, oh my God, is this too much? Like, am I giving them like too much attention? And they're like getting uncomfortable because I'm looking too much. So I'll like do a mix of like looking and cheering and then like looking through the book and then being like, what? No, I just sit on my phone the whole time and just boo people if they I suck. Usually, yeah. I'm like, you're fucking terrible at karaoke. Like, this is boring. You're horrible. This is like 95% of the song is just beat. Dude, it's dead silent. Everyone was talking. There's, you can hear their voices better than me singing. <laughs> Women and children okay well i think i want to be in a coma like really soon i think that's like <laughs> something i want to try out okay but no unironically though okay. why because you just want to know what your I'll, brain i don't think your brain does anything you're not dreaming no imagine like okay like you're in a coma like, people cannot be mad at you for, like, not hanging out. Like, you can literally... You, oh, we have like, some people who would find a way. Yeah, literally, literally. Uh, you can't... They can't be mad at you for not hanging out. They can't be mad at you for, like, missing work obligations. Like, like I, I'm in a fucking coma. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, challenge. And I just want to disappear in a coma for two weeks and then come out and be chill. But it, isn't that going to suck, though? Because then you'll have, like, oh, all this weeks. work and social work, like... Or like, have, like, I'd do two months. I'd literally do two, two to six months, like, would be nice. Dude, but all your work would just stack up against you. And then when you wake up, it's not like, oh, okay, like, I have no work obligations. It's then, like, every day, like, in and out, you're going to have, like, 18 things to do. Yeah, but <laughs> I also think it would be, like, good character I growth. Guess, actually, it would be good because I could replace you really easily. Oh, wow. Fuck you. Um, no, <laughs> I was thinking we could... Um, I could be in a coma, but you know how you're like semi lucid and like you can hear the people around you. Like I'd love to see who showed up to my bedside. Like it would be so gaggy because I'd be like, oh, like they didn't come, they didn't come. This is tea. Because like I've been keeping track of who wished me happy birthday, who gives me birthday gifts. Like I keep fucking track. Okay, of so that you were fucking evil. Yeah, and I will intentionally not wish someone a happy birthday if they don't wish me a happy birthday. Like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, don't fucking play with I me. I don't know if I do that, but what I will do is like, if I'm like, fuck, I didn't wish that person a happy birthday, it does ease my anxiety if they didn't wish me a happy birthday. Like, I will like go back yeah. and look to see if they did. But then if I see that they did, I'm like, oh God. Like, oh my God, I have to say something. And then I um open up TikTok and I immediately forget. And I'm like, oh, it didn't exist anyway. Like, it's yeah. not that big of a deal. And also like, I know you in real life and you know I love you. So like, why do I have to say happy birthday? Stop playing with me. Exactly. You know what's crazy is I... I guarantee I would be the one that like sponge baits you and 
actually oh, does all that shit because then you get not, to do it because you would want to do it i would so be bad. so excited that you were in a coma mm-hmm. so i would I not sponge bathe you no and you would not take care of me like, like if i was paraplegic and you would literally throw me to the fucking wolves like bro, I would because be like if a, you were shitting camp. yourself i'm not dealing with it i swear to god i'm not dealing with it i'm, I'm not dealing with it and i'm celebrating it Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Ew, thank you went like this with your yeah. hand, like, and I imagine you grabbing your shit and like, like playing Throwing in it. The air. Oh, I saw this on TikTok. It was like just got this in the mail, and it's this oh, flyer: that. new family on something road. We are the new family. The Bansons residing at blah 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 road. Thank you for having us here. We ask only one thing: please don't talk to us. We have nothing against any of you. We are just in a religion where we don't want to t- you to talk to us. Do not approach us. Do not welcome us. Nothing wrong with our family. We just wish to stay alone. That is literally me. Like that is me at the gym. That is how I felt after that. I was like, nothing against you. God bless you. I hope your life is fruitful and you find joy and happiness. But you will not be finding it here at my footstep. Mm-hmm. Like, do not come up to me. And we need to make one of these when we move and like yeah. give it out to people so people think we're fucking crazy. I low key think this is like an artist because I went to the comments and it was uh, this is one of Alan Wagner's amazing works. Well, we're gonna do that for real. We need to take the scary sound of the wind from TikTok. Y'all put like some eerie sound on Little Sir Robot. I set my school on fire at the age of <laughs> Look what this teacher made his entire class do. You are in the shadow too. La carretera es tu lienzo. La moto. Today I had a girl order a huckleberry and... Okay, so this TikTok that everyone's talking about. The stripes and the toothpaste. And How much would I pay? The thing is, this is my ideal hangout. <laughs> yeah, like sitting and rotting on the phone. My ideal hangout is me and the people I love the most sitting on our phones and not speaking to each other. And then it. being so lazy that we send links of the TikToks. We just I love that. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just love sitting it, and rotting. Because we can it, communicate through TikToks. Um, um, okay, well, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm actually about to shit myself. Okay, let's do PSYOP and media. Do we do PSYOP first or media? PSYOP. Drew. Something about doing this podcast makes me need to shit. I, uh, Y'all, what if I stop doing the podcast and I stop shitting? Like the correlation between the two. Anyway, I keep going. Um, I opened a can of tuna and busted out crying. I miss Inya so much, y'all. I knew it was coming. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> If I, the problem is, if I ever started actually smelling rank as fuck, I wouldn't even know if y'all are being for real. Like, I would, I would let you know. Okay. I would let you know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing with no bitch with eczema. See you later, alligator. <laughs> That's a good one. The Timu vape reverse my cilantro soap gene. <laughs> That's like a funny Twitter account. Beam doll, Bema. Um, and then this one is from Joan of Arc Instagram account. It says, challengers this, challengers that. I challenge you to go outside. <laughs> right, right. That's all I got for y'all today. Should we uh, let Violet come in for a positive affirmation? Yes, Violet, come here. Okay, if y'all don't know, this is our friend Violet. Violet or die on Twitch, queen. <sighs> We just need some positive energy because Drew is being scary. Um, so let's some let's all, <laughs> okay, okay. you know, right? Um, let's just thank God for being here for another day. Um, uh, only give us the nutrients of this podcast. Um, thank you to the people who cooked it. Um, and yeah, let's just lift the vibes. Let's all be positive. Let's have a great day. May is the best month of this year, so. Amen. Then who cooked us? We cooked. You're the domino thing. Also, if you guys don't know about the domino effect, um, it's basically like, well, for example, like let's say I smile, right? And yeah, look at her. She's smiling. That's a domino effect. Look now, he's smiling. Oh, <laughs> see, I ate. That's a domino effect. Yeah. So if you don't know about it, um, get into it. It's really important yeah. to the way of life. So yep. Wow, thank you. We need that. Hey, Madden. Hey, you guys. The last true Christian on earth, by the way. (laughs) She does pray over every single meal we eat, and it's not a joke. Like, it's very real, and I love it. And every time it, and every time she does it, I'm like, oh, like, I 
am going to start doing that. Yeah. But in my head, so I don't freak people out. Did the reason we brought up the domino effect is because we were literally all together at Rain's house eating around her really nice table. We all had fucking wing stop and it, it was stank. stinky as fuck. But we were all about to eat. And then Violet was like, wait, 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 wait. We need to pray. She did her prayer. And then she was like, <laughs> she just got up and pointed. She was like, I think she, what did you say? Did you, did she mention the domino effect and then went on? She was like, um, and we all need to laugh and love each other more because if you like smile at somebody, it goes on and we all start laughing at her and she goes, no, because it's the domino effect. Like, <laughs> she, she got, got up and started serious. pointing at us and like literally was going on like a huge like tangent about it and we were cracking the fuck up and it you just had to be there yeah, you just you had, had to, to be, be there. there like if you weren't there it was, you weren't a part of the vibe sorry guys i need to go take a shit um so everything had to stop for me because that's uh, kind of how my life goes like yeah you can like do your little media thing all you you're want. just full of shit you're just full of shit okay um okay let's tap into media though media of the week, week. okay mine is um 10x uh from the challengers oh, trent yeah, reznor at yeah. chris ross yeah. Drew the light in Lana Del Rey, heavy Drew the on that. Love that song. Yeah. Well, my only song of the week is literally just "Ribs" by Lord because that song is a fucking classic. Dude, I fucking like, love that dude, song so. so much. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh wow! And fuck that hurt. That hurt so fucking bad. Oh my god, Kai! I didn't even think about Kai. My fucking dude. god. Oh my god! In your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, his fucking bones are broken! He's Dude, check his fucking He's fucking smashed, Sydney. He's fucking smashed. Smashed? What do you mean? Oh, oh, were you checking for an insurance card? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does yeah, he have I insurance? Got, I got his wallet, Dude, I got his wallet. Wait, I got no, his wallet. wait, why'd you get money from it? Yeah. No, Drew, come back here! Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh, we don't have. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're murderers. Yeah. We're literally. We were the killers this oh whole time. God. We were the killers this whole time. Oh, oh my god. No, god. no, he's not like. And you know, no, 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 no. Guy, wake up. We gotta go. We have to go. We have to fucking leave. We have to leave America right now. Okay. Kai, you're verified on Instagram. Dude, no, he's actually dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Um, we can leave. No, it's... Oh, my God. It's fine. It's fine. We did, like, 100 episodes. We were, like, good. It's... We made enough to, like... We made enough to move. Yeah, we, we can... We'll be rich in, like, the last two, I think. Ah!